Now two ad agencies battle it out in a SmackDown contest to sell the unsellable. The winner takes home this Gruen trophy, now with extract of Catafree. <laughs> Recently, we challenged two agencies to come up with a campaign to make Australians invade New Zealand. Tonight, it's payback time. We've told tonight's agencies that their client is the New Zealand government, and the brief is to create a global ad campaign to stop tourists coming to Australia. <laughs> Taking tonight's test from Grey Worldwide, please welcome Simon Rich. And from the Glue Society, Matt Devine. <laughs> all right, Simon, you first. Where did you start? First of all, we thought about spiders, venomous spiders, poisonous snakes, croc infested waters, cliched. So then we thought about highlighting uh, the unsavoury characters you might meet when you come to Australia Ivan the Lat, uh, <laughs> and, and kind of the back pad of murderers, but he's safely in jail. So then we thought about perhaps we should highlight uh, what would happen if you got stuck out in the bush and, and your car broke down, or that perhaps your uh, tour guide operator left you out to sea. But in the end, we thought the right way to do it was actually to play on people's insecurity. After all, when you go on holiday, you really do want to feel good about yourself. All right, let's have a look. Australia is perfect. Beautiful beaches stretch for miles and bronze bodies are everywhere. The scenery takes your breath away, as do the locals. But that's grouse, because even the air tastes good. It's always sunny in Australia, where every wave is perfect and the surfers seldom bail. Shrimps on the barbie are never overcooked, and when you're finished marvelling at the majesty of the national icon, you can fry that up too. <laughs> They're good at everything, from keeping their beer cold to dominating the world at sports. And to top it all off, their teeth are all white and skin dangerously golden. Let's be honest, you can holiday in a place that reveal you as the pasty, average and inadequate cattle class tourist you really are. <laughs> or you can fly an extra three hours to a place where rustic, carefree locals will worship you as some kind of mysterious and exotic demigod. <laughs> Australia or New Zealand. It's your choice, bro. Very good. Very good. All right, Matt, how did you approach the task? Uh, well, we went for a pretty different tact. We um, wanted to have global domination of um, stopping people from coming to Australia, so we went straight for the jugular, pretty much. Let's have a look. I don't know how our panel is going to decide this week. They are both absolute crackers. Uh, Russell, you first. Which one? Well, I suppose during the course of the last 10 weeks, we've discussed fear as a great selling tactic. And so, therefore, I'm going to go for the guys from the Glue Society using fear to get people not to come to Australia. All right, Bridget, what did you think as uh, a New Zealander? Yeah, this was genius payback <laughs> for me. Um, but you, we're playing on insecurity. It was just a, it was a brilliant angle. I mean, you both did it, but. You can't argue with how many people die when they come here. And every tourist, you know, reads their little book. Oh, it's very safe, you know, <laughs> the beaches. And it's like, 22 people, what the? Yeah, you, you, you get my vote. Uh, Dan, what do you reckon? Look, I love the first one, but the logic of it kind of relies on convincing people that Bridget is the ugly one on this panel. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to go for number two. A, because I've never thought of it before, and it's really a good benefit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally, Todd, what did you think? I agree. I thought they were both really good. I thought number two was fantastic. F scaring people because they're going to die. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Well, there you go. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well Thank done. Thank you very much.